it wasn't released yet. Right, same. Yeah, but I heard there was more content. Oh, is yeah. this a real battle? Yes. All right, let's get into it. So Mario and Pikachu. <laughs> here it is. So Gen V busting out the Mario versus nobody's Pikachu. Now, I like I, I like matches like this, right? These two characters, they're definitely uh, are, they're both scrappers. Pikachu can do a good job of, of course, zoning around the opponent with T jolts, popping in with a quick attack as well. Uh, at times that the Mario would least expect it to keep it safe. And you know, when you're facing off against Mario, you probably don't want Mario to get his hands on you. Mario, even in this game, can get big combos. But speaking about big combos, this Pikachu already is a madman! What the heck? He actually went Wait. super deep. Fantastic They're both mad. tag from Gen V. Oh the, my god. The maddest of the lads, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, man, set him up nicely. Gets some weights for him to try to go for an aggressive option. A forward smash with his name on it. That's exactly what seems to be the name of the game because whenever he goes for that little forward smash, he gets so much range on it compared to the likes of, like, say, Pichu. Yes. Who barely goes anywhere. He's got a little bit more mature electricity shot coming out. Uh oh, and now that's one thing that I feel like Pikachu should definitely be careful of. Try to force the KO, you know? Going for these up smashes, these dash attacks. Keep it safe. Right there. I feel like. So nobody is excited to want to just like press the advantage. He has the advantage and he wants to end the stock right there. But playing it safe when you have the lead means that your opponent will probably get frustrated because they want to mount to come back of their own. So they may overextend. But it's still pretty even in terms of like the stock damage here. Either one of them could potentially get killed by a huge smash attack. But nobody just needs one solid hit. Send Gen flying. Getting a little bit greedy right there. Going to get caught by a shield grab. Back throw not going to be able to find its mark with the maximum amount of rage. Blood to mess up with the recovery. Didn't commit to the quick attack just yet. Oh, and Ooh, the cape? That's rare. I've never seen an on-stage cape stop a quick attack recovery. But the fact that he was recovering on stage, it's smart. It's genius. Reverse that momentum and get the stock. And now we're seeing it happen a lot more often. It feels a little more comfortable with the cape. Just trying to just mess up. Nobody's like approaches. He's going to be able to survive the down smash because he got sent to the left. 182%. Nobody's struggling to find this kill. That is crazy right there. And Gen V was able to actually go through the T-Jolts that were riding across the wall by using a super jump punch, active hitbox. Yep, just like I said before, you know, nobody, I think nobody has a decent game plan except once his opponent is at KO percent, it's, it's different. It's a different version. Whoa! Are you serious? Sour Spot Bear to the KO Bear. And we got people on stage going absolutely crazy from what, what they're what seeing. What percent was he at? He was at like 60. Dude, that was crazy. But here it is. We got the F-Tilt, but dude, it, it took too long for him to, uh, to actually get that KO, which means, you know, he's going to have to take more risks. Here we go. Okay, he does have those loops. Now let's see the drag down to the up-tilts. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. one more. Platform, that actually could be a big help to extend the combos. Yeah, you saw him go for the up air on the platform as well. He just cover all the tech options using his giant tail in the process. And this damage doesn't stop. What is happening right now? Just constantly putting... Okay, that's the fact that he's just getting all these juggles on Gen V looks like he's not going to have a problem after all when it comes to bringing it back. But the platform, so the way they're set up for Mario here can actually be a big, 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 big benefit to Mario, dude. I've seen the way Prodigy plays with Mario when it comes to these platforms. So if Gen V has those combos down, we could see a stock get taken away really quickly. Oh, oh no, that was Jet trying to go tech. for a tech with yeah. a buffered air dodge coming out instead, and he falls to his doom. This could be the chance for nobody to, to mount a comeback here. Already has him on his final percentage, trying to get the loops going with the grabs and the up tilts. But Jet, again, just going for the back here, just to push him back off stage. We might see another cape. There it is. The thing is, he can also send the thunder right back down as well. That is true. He does have the cape that reflects projectiles. It doesn't only reverse momentum. Ooh, that was actually a really good cute up to up air rather. Yeah. They sent him in a really good height. Trying to get the up smash. Waits for him to commit to a shield option. Just goes okay. for the grab instead. Doesn't want to back throw yet. Nobody had to go for that back air to land down on the ground safely. He's still he is hurting really hard right now. One, two, three percent. Can he try to do something with this? Literally one yeehaw away from being sent flying into the blast zone. Just and there it up is. the devil. Yes, yeehaw. That up smash doing what it's intended to do, which is uh get that KO for Mario, you know? It's a really, really fast tool. You don't want to jump in on it. And uh, the saddest thing right now, guys, so I, there's actually a Pikachu. You can't see it on camera. That's super, super sad after seeing... Can we bring them the, over? Yeah, if, if only we can. Maybe we could, like, move them down. There it is. It's coming into oh, the there view. There it is. Oh, it's so close. A little bit. Little a little bit. bit. bit there. Ah, ah. Uh, there it is, guys. Do you see it? So the it's Pikachu. Ryan Reynolds, baby. That Pikachu right now is look it's He's creeping on his eye. You see that? <laughs> it's kinda creepy. It's creeping on Gen V. It's like, yo, do that again, yo. Yeah, do that again. Yo, you'll see what happens. 
Oh, here we go. Lilac Cruz, a little change of pace. I haven't seen too much at this stage. We're going to jump right into game number two. Gen B has that lead. We're going to jump right into it. And we're starting. And. All right, guys. And here we are. Uh, we're uh, Lilac Cruz. Okay, there we go. So here we are, guys, at Lilac Cruz. Gen B versus Nobody. And you see the spacing again, but the commitments, man. I'm telling you right now, nobody looks like he's the type of player that has a solid game plan. But if you do not play into that game plan, things may fall apart, which means that he's going to have to react a little bit more after setting up, you know? You don't want right. to force it. And I see him trying to get these up airs as well, trying to extend the combos off the platforms as well. As nobody's just trying to find his way in. There we go. I like that little tricky, right? As he lands out the forwarder, it seems like he's going to have a little bit of lag, but just immediately goes up with yet a second aerial assault. You know, going with the back air right afterwards. Ooh, good use of the thunder to try to get buy him some breathing room. Gets caught by the up smash. This is the thunder jolt to get Mario right off of him. But he's trying to recover back onto the stage. And Genevieve actually tried to go for a reverse up smash right there again, but Dash is into the forward smash. And Fantastic nobody takes that stop. Call out yes, sir. The, cut the dash in right there. But I have to say, it almost looked like nobody was going to lose the stock first because of the up smash at the edge. Yeah, it Here. was looking very close, but Fantastic DI coming up. Nobody going to be able to survive it. Now, Jen on the hunt. Might see another up smash. Trying to get something going. Going for the first option of jab. You know, it's the quickest option you can go for just to like, get Pikachu back off stage. Not, not, might not necessarily get the kill, but it puts him into a position where a kill could potentially happen. And the back like air right there. He's getting the stock that he needed. Solid poke. It's, it, it, it works out really well, at, almost at like any percent as far as like you know utility for Mario's concerned, right? It's just a all around good move. You saw him waiting for him to go for like a commitment right there on the ledge. He had a forward smash ready to go. Yep, and you see that the usage of the down air, right? It's a good tool to catch people on, uh, during their short hop. Wow, actually combo breaking with that neutral air. Okay. It's kind of sweet to see them just trade combos back and forth, right? right? Really sick here. There we go, getting that sour spot in there. And you saw what uh, Gen V did there, right? He got the hit and he immediately just a super position. Wait, back here? Okay, and we saw the sparks. Oh, missed the tech, but he ate his double jump, so he was able to get that kill finally, pushing him too far off stage. He was the super jump punch, and it was just over at that point. Oh, and we're about to see our first game three out of all the matches that we're having here. You know, we were having consistent two woes. But going into this one, it looks like nobody is picking up the pieces right now, making it difficult for Gen V to even get a grab. And speaking of getting a grab, he and gets he one there. Find it. There we go. Going to go for the dash attack to catch that skull bash on the ledge. Goes for the up smash to prevent any sort of cross ups going off. And that down air will kill. He managed to go off that deep and connect it. Nobody very aware of it. That's why he's drifting back away to avoid any sort of follow ups from Gen as he goes off stage against him. Very surprising to see him not try to press his advantage for maybe like an edge guard with a back throw whenever the opponent's at 120 plus. Always going for the down throw and not getting anything off of it. Now he's back on stage. He's going that Thunder Jolt to give himself some breathing room before he goes back in there and tries to continue the onslaught. Catches the up smash. I heard a little bit of a charge on that on top of it. Oh, Great yeah. anti air. It's probably because of the fact that he noticed so much jumping right there from Gen V. It's like if he's going to try to space with an aerial again, I could just duck underneath. I feel like every single time that Jen's gone for a shield, like 90% of the time, he always goes for a jump aerial, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's one of his fastest options to go for, but he can easily get capitalized. Just right there, he managed to get a kill with it too. You know, goes for the down air, jump out of shield, short hop, gets the kill, and nobody's looking for it. Hold on a sec. He's off that, stage. Yes, and okay, he's getting those interceptions, but the quick attack putting him in disadvantage, but he manages to land again. They were dashing back and forth, waiting for that opening. Manages to just go for the dash attack to push him off. He had to recover low to avoid the down smash. Tries to get his way back down to the stage. We got nobody camping that landing a little bit. Not yeah, allowing him to get any sort of stage control. Yeah, the fourth smash is coming out again. Okay, manages to sneak behind Gen B this time. Gen B has him in the corner. He wanted to grab so bad, but now the up airs begin. How many? He wants to get the up B right afterwards. Smash four combos. He tried, and that should be a KO, ladies and gentlemen. First game three here. After an hour plus of just 2 0 back to back to back. Finally getting it. You see Pikachu in the background. If only we had a camera on him. He is dancing like crazy. Really happy for Pikachu. He's <laughs> yeah, jumping. Yeah, they could, they could definitely see Pikachu's feet right there. Oh, that's so adorable. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Here it is, guys. Gen B versus nobody. Game three. Game three. Working out, man. That light lap pick. 
was sticking with the Mario. Okay, I thought he was about to go to construction worker Mario, but... No, it's time to go to wedding day, man. Yeah, I, I mean, that's one of the most important days of one's life, uh -huh. I tell you. Oof, here it is. And right now, this is a very important moment for Gen V. We're in the winner's side again with top 128. This is Momocon, an S tier, if I'm not mistaken. It is an S tier, yeah, 100%. Big deal right here for a lot of these players, man. Yeah. There's a lot on the line, especially because that ranking is about to come out soon. So there's a lot for people to want to prove. They want to get further in their bracket, try to get a win. Just Peanut alone already solidified his win against Mr. R prior. So you know these players also want to try to get that opportunity, but who's going to get it? Nobody or Gen. Oof. Okay. Uh, I like the DI there. In that particular situation, probably would have been better for Genevieve to go for the back air chain that he did before in game one. There we go. Just going to go for the shield into the back throw, throwing out the thunder. Good recovery from Jen. Nice. And a tech right there. That's another opportunity, but immediately landing and putting out the fastest aerial to get rid of that grab threat. Whoa. He went over the clouds. He jumped over the thundercloud. Yeah. I, I didn't even know that was possible. Me neither. My man so is smart. moving. And the thing is, he was saving his double jump the entire time. We got himself and both players off stage trying to throw the thunder jolts right back towards Pikachu. You can take him. I don't want him. Definitely Give me what I ordered, man. Clipping Pikachu right there with the dash attacks. Manages to recover there. And if he is drifted a little bit forward, he could have outspaced the forward air from the edge from nobody to get the back air. Runs right behind him, underneath him. Catches the forward smash with a pivot, looking for this next opportunity. Sitting at 106% on Mario. There we go. Neutral air into up smash. Going to be able to find its mark. Nobody taking away that first stock. This is imperative for him to try to hold on to this lead. Jen, super hungry for this up smash. Yeah, you can see right now, nobody. I like the way nobody plays right here. Trying to see if he can find openings by using combo starting tools, right? So that's a big difference from the way he's been playing the other games. Right now, Okay, we have a, t a tough situation for Gen B, but I like how, ooh, again, pushing the dash attack. And there's no reason to go for a dash attack at that percent, you know? Yeah. But thankfully for him, there wasn't too much cooldown on that, so the biggest punch that Jen could go for, because he was facing the wrong direction, was a near out of shield. Or up smash from up behind. Up smash could have potentially worked, but I don't know if his shield would have came out in time. I'm not sure. But hey, you know what? That's going to get a kill right there. Managed to throw him right into the blast zone. Okay, here we go. Trying to come back here. Nice to see the respect being shown by Gen V. He's waiting. It looks like, yep, he's expecting the aerial approaches. We see the down airs. But when I saw him go for the short hop, uh, the fireball, I was like, wait a second, a little bit risky. Okay. Okay. Getting caught by these back airs. Gen starting to turn up the heat a bit. He was looking for a tech, uh, tech situation, but that's why nobody opted to go for his double jump to avoid any sort of reading going on. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. Drags him down, really hungry for this edge guard. Keeping him on the trap. And this, again, a, a big stark contrast in comparison to the nobody we've seen in the last game. He's trying to get these. Wait! Oh, no! He got him flying! 72%? Okay. He did not hit him with the flames, though. And you saw what he tried to, try to do there. He actually wanted to cave the thunder. And that's the second time we've seen yeah. nobody get a Nair into up smash. The second time this game. CCB is KO confirmed of choice. Now the back air loops are happening. He's going to try to push this all the way. No, he wants to get back onto the stage. He wants to hold on to his stock lead instead of trying to like gamble it all. Oh, Playing there's the Rar Bear. Okay. Get some extra damage there. And okay. He tries to force the grab opportunity. But as you can see here, man, nobody. He doesn't want to get grabbed. Narrowly avoiding that up smash. Yes. Okay, going to the other side of the stage to reset. He was so close to getting forward smash off That was dangerous. Okay, gonna get tech in to try to avoid that little follow up with a jab. Jen super close to closing out this next stock because he's one good solid back air off stage. He's got the stage control, up smash, looking for it. There we go, big punish. Speaking of big punishes, if Mario does manage to get an up throw on this Pikachu, things will get extremely hairy. Let's okay. see. He's gonna be looking for it. Nobody has to be aware. Okay. Fire versus electricity. Yep, and it does look like nobody's aware of seeing the drift backs, right? And right there, Jen was able to recover because he drifted back. Trying to avoid the thunder, gets caught by it. Oh, that Sets him up perfectly for a forward air, and he's going to fall into the blast zone. Nobody making a 2-0 comeback against my mans. Jen takes the victory. Pikachu's going to move on to fight another day. But hey, you know what? He's still in loser's side. There's Pikachu, man. Hey. We saw him cheer him on. So happy. So they're, they're popping off. Look at him. <laughs> Is Pikachu charging? Oh, my God. He's charging an attack. Look out for Skull Bash, man. And there you have it. Are, are they yeah. going to hug? Are they going to hug? Please give me an interaction. Please. Wait, is it going to just walk by Pikachu? He, I, I don't. Oh, they're waving? Aww. Interact. Oh. Come on, man. Give him a hug. 
They cheered you oh, on. No. Okay. He, he, nah, he, no, he, he, he wasn't having he, any of that. He's, he's too excited. He's talking to his <laughs> friends.